I'm Justine Zarek, or I Justine, as most of the people on the internet know me. Um, I'm a video blogger, I also do marketing and consulting, and my website is ijustine.com. Well, I've been doing the online stuff probably since sixth grade, that's when I made my first website. And then in high school, I had a daily random photo website, so every day I updated that with a new photo of something. And then, from then, video started becoming popular, so I started video blogging. Uh, the website in sixth grade, I've always been very interested in technology, but the one in sixth grade was kind of interesting. One of my friends, or enemies, named Steve, he kicked me. And, you know, instead of most people kicking back or, you know, making little notes or saying how much you hate this person, I made a website. So it was, it was an I Hate Steve website. And it was interesting because even though I was making this about this person, you know, I ended up learning how to code HTML. And from there, you know, I started doing other things. And I probably was doing freelance websites in like seventh and eighth grade. Well, I actually used to go by the screen name X31337 in sixth grade. That was my elite hacker handle. And then when the iPods came out in 2002, I believe, in October, maybe, I'm not sure, um, I decided to go with iJustine. And I mean, I had Photoshop and it was a 60 day trial. So every 60 days, I would have all of my programs synced up so that I could restart my computer and just reformat everything so that I could reinstall all of my software. But as far as the templates go for the websites, um, I would actually go to other people's websites, view their source, and try to figure out how they created what they created. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's interesting too because when I first started doing this, I mean, I was completely myself. And then it sort of started changing as I started becoming, you know, a little bit more popular and people would expect me to be doing certain things and I would censor myself more because my audience was getting younger so I would never swear online because I don't want to, you know, influence someone to start, oh, Justine swears, so I'm going to start swearing. Or like drinking on camera, like I never show alcohol or, you know, promote anything like that, so. Um, I guess my, my tagline on YouTube or some random places is uh, I make videos that make no sense because some people watch them and like, what did I even watch? Why did I watch this? I'm like, I don't know why you watched it, but you did. I don't even know what happened. I had an idea, it either worked or it didn't. But I mean, some of them, I mean, they have like a plot, but some of them don't. I mean, I'll just film this one specific video. It's, I'm sitting here like this. And I'm stirring oatmeal and I'm just making a ridiculous face. It makes no sense at all. I don't know. Some of my favorite videos are probably some of the ones that I did like a while ago with my friend Desiree because we used to have a really good time doing like all this crazy stuff. We did a spoof of parkour where we're running around jumping off of things and of course the iPhone Go video because that was, that was a pretty popular one but as far as my background goes I went to Pittsburgh Technical Institute for multimedia so I did everything from graphic design to 3D to video editing so I guess I took all of that and kind of I'm really getting to do what I, I love to do, is just make crazy fun videos. But in addition to that, I mean, I still do consulting and marketing and help other people do what I'm doing. You know, I would probably pass out, like, I really would. I did see him at Apple. I went there for lunch to meet a friend and I'm sitting probably from here to how far this camera is away from him. He sits down, gets out his food, and I look over. I literally stop breathing. I mean. I couldn't breathe, I just for like two minutes and I was like, is that Steve? And Steve looks up, he looks over, grabs all of his stuff and runs. Ah, uh, Hannah Montana. It's kind of weird because I always find these weird things to become obsessed with. So Hannah Montana for the past month or so has become my recent random obsession, which is kind of hard to not notice her. She's absolutely everywhere. You walk through Walmart, she has beach towels, she has toothbrush holders, she has hair brushes, everything. So I'm like, wow, this is kind of cool. So I bought a nice little hair piece and I started decorating my set of my live show in Hannah Montana. I really don't know why, I'll probably get sick of her in a week, but right now, I love you, Hannah. You're great. <laughs>